five months since the release of Shadowlands and in my initial expansions ranking video I put it in at third best. Does that still hold up now I've had some time to truly get into the game and spend a few months with it? No. But let's take a look at exactly why and we'll start with the content. So obviously in any World of Warcraft expansion you have the PvE. You've got the raids, dungeons and the addition of Torghast in Shadowlands, as well as Covenants and Dailies. As it's a new feature and something more personal to Shadowlands, let's begin with Torghast, the Tower of the Damned. For me, it's a tough one because when it was released, some people said it was too hard, some people said it was too easy. You've got the casual players, but you've also got the more hardcore ones. Now the issue there is the casual players make up 99% of the game, depending how you how you would class hardcore. I mean, only 1% of people do mythic raiding, which gives you some idea of how small the hardcore player base is. Obviously the casual fans still love the game. Like I would probably consider myself a casual. It depends, I don't really raid, but I do do a lot of PVP. So it depends where you place it. Now Torghast is so much less of a challenge now. The bosses are easier, the mobs are easier, you get better abilities more often. There is no comparison, so now it's not even a challenge. It's not like you log on to take on this challenge. It's something you feel you need to do every week. It's now become even more of a chore. I will say because it is so easy, I can just smash through it on all of my alts, which I do enjoy, but it does mean I spend less time in game. Although, saying that again, I do enjoy Torghast more now. I know not everything in the game has to be a challenge, and this is something where... I can run into a room, AOE down a ton of mobs and feel powerful, which your character should. I would love to see more of this, I would love to see them add more abilities. They have started to do weekly changes and updates, I think it's weekly anyway. I know the current week you get a companion, which is kind of cool. If they keep doing concepts like this, it will keep me playing. Let me know in the comments below your least or favourite thing from Shadowlands. And most importantly, are you still playing? The main thing I log in for at the moment is Battlegrounds, the Epic Battlegrounds, the regular, and just PvP in general. I'm having so much fun playing the Epics. I think PvP is in a good place, but we will come on to that shortly. So in my previous video, we actually stopped playing in January. My friends stopped playing. I've only just come back this month. That is a couple of months off, which sort of gives you an idea how much we enjoyed Shadowlands. I think without my friends on it just wasn't the experience I was looking for and it's so far away from what WoW used to be. Another thing for me, gearing up for raids without friends or a group or a strong guild doesn't seem worth doing. I could do the looking for raid, which I might do, but I just don't have the drive to do the raids and stuff without a group. I know that means I'm missing out on a huge part of the expansion. I have seen the raids and I've seen how the bosses work, so I do know the mechanics and I do enjoy the themes and some of the bosses, but I have also seen people solo them, so it's a bit hit and miss for me. Back to PvP though, I do think it is a saving grace for Shadowlands. I'm not saying it's incredibly well balanced, but I do think all classes and all specs, there is, they have their role in PvP basically. I've been watching the WoW Arena which is on currently, which you can find over at WoW Esports, and there's been so many different classes and specifications used. I don't know why I didn't just say specs, but we've seen Ellie Shaman, we've seen Enhance, we've seen Resto, we've seen Rep Pally, we've seen Rogue, we've seen Mage, Warlock, Druid. We've seen pretty much all of the classes so far, which I do think is a testament to PvP in Shadowlands. One thing I will say is a bit of a shame, with Epics and regular BGs, once you've done your first one, the rewards don't make you want to come back. You get something like 8 Conquest after that, and it's just not worth putting the time in. I do have fun doing it, but I'm not going to spend a crazy amount of time doing something where I get no reward for it in game. I think the reward is an important part of an MMO, especially when you're spending so much time in game. You have then got the Covenant stuff, which at the minute just feels like I'm running around grinding anima, but for no particular reason, I'm not aiming for anything. You can upgrade gear. But once you get to a certain point, that's just unnecessary. And at this part of the expansion, it feels more like a chore. It feels more like a glorified garrison, just with stronger themes and stronger story. The bonus of something like this over the Wad garrisons is at least we get some variety. You can choose one of four covenants and they offer different combat abilities, 
and other things which make them unique. It is worlds away from garrisons in terms of what you can do and what they offer, but in terms of concept, they feel very similar. Why do we always need player housing at this point? For an expansion, it's almost been a must, and I think we need to move away from that, and hopefully in the next WoW expansion, we do get a little more creativity and something fresh. Going completely against that, let's talk about something not so fresh, but essential in an MMO, dailies. Now, a daily is a daily. You're never going to... I don't think you're ever really going to enjoy one. It is just a grind. It's something you need to get out of the way. Some of the dailies I do enjoy or some of the world quests I do enjoy in Shadowlands. So they have done a good job of the on-map stuff. You can find gear, you can find money, you can find whatever you need to advance a story and advance your character how you want. Now, when it comes to cutscenes and cinematics, I won't lie, I am a bit of a sucker for this. I'm massively into the lore and story in games. And in particular, World of Warcraft has always been head and shoulders above the competition. I would say other gaming companies have caught up in recent years and probably even overtaken them. But back in the day, nothing came close to a WoW cinematic. So WoW, for that, will always hold a special place in my heart. But do I actually enjoy the story as it's evolved? Kind of. I don't mind Sylvanas and the Jailer teaming up, or even the scenes between her and Anduin. I do, however, take some issue with the Anduin team switch. I get it, other men have fallen to Dark Powers, Arthurs, Bolivar. But I wanted to believe at some point somebody can stand up to the evil in World of Warcraft. And Anduin was that hope for me. That hope is now gone, which is probably honestly what they were trying to achieve, but it does. I don't feel fulfilled as a fan. The other hand, it does show the power of the Death Knights and the Lich King, and I think it does a really good job of taking some of the most interesting and popular World of Warcraft lore and bringing it back in a way to tie this story in. So I have to give props for that. I do enjoy that they're trying to give the community what they want. Obviously, everyone was a fan of Wrath. Warcraft 3, just the story that's being told about Arthas and the Lich King, and now it's all being brought back to finish it off. I am excited to see where this story goes, which is what is keeping me active, honestly. And it does potentially, somewhere down the line, set Anduin to break free. It would be a big reveal, and I think Anduin's not far enough down the rabbit hole that he can't come back. He's not Arthas, he's not done these terrible things. I mean, he's done one terrible thing, but there is still redemption for him. So the big question for me is Shadowlands. I put it in at number three in my ranking video. Does it stay there? And unfortunately, I'm going to say it doesn't. Three is way too high for it. I'd probably knock it down to five. So I'd move the Burning Crusade and Legion above it. Now we've taken a couple of months off in a five month period. It says something about how replayable the game is. I wouldn't knock it all the way down to the bottom, but I do think Things like Cataclysm and the Burning Crusade are probably above it for me now. It's still a fun expansion and one I would say try out if you haven't. The additions like Torghast are fun and they add new things now and again to help it stay fresh. PvP is in a good place like I said with WoW Arena and VGs and stuff. I've been enjoying what I've been playing, I've been enjoying what I've been watching. So if you're into PvP I would say this is an expansion for you. But also if you're into the lore and story I do think they're doing something familiar but different so they are bringing back the lich king and all that that surrounds it but obviously it's with the jailer and the moor and all this new area so i do think if you're into the lore it's worth playing as well let me know in the comments below your favorite parts or least favorite parts of shadowlands so far and if you are still playing hopefully i'll be back with some more mmo content soon or possibly diablo 2 remastered fingers crossed but if not i will see you in the next one